Hello, this is Heike's Furniture Art and my name is Heike and uh, I'm about to start painting my kitchen. I've already posted on my Facebook page that uh, my kitchen needed some paint and um, everything's prepared. We cleaned it, my hubby helped me, thank goodness, so he's a good cleaner, he was really scrubbing hard. Uh, we used um, this time TSP because here in Malta I didn't have the white lightning but I would recommend as well the white lightning because it's a very 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 good degreaser and a cleaner of the Dixie paint obviously. So my decision is this one, it's the wharf. It is kind of a bluish grey, I wanted to stay in the greys but I a bit of a change and I am using the new silk all-in-one mineral paint I've already explained in my previous video that this is not chalk paint this is mineral paint they come in 20 colors and they've got quite a few coastal colors it's not the bright colors that we maybe like or know of like the reds the, the yellows and so on it really is a coastal it's a coastal feel to it and i think this color i did some sample boards and um even though it might be darker uh, i still love this gray and uh, i'm going to go with it so just a little review of the silk in one mineral paint as i said it comes in 20 colors it's got a built-in stain blocker so you don't need to put a primer, nothing. It has a built-in top coat. What is extremely interesting for me here in Malta is that it's mildew resistant because with the high humidity that we have here in Malta, um, and uh, I saw it this time that I wasn't able to come because of the COVID, uh, the mildew, the mold was a bit, mm, it was persistent and it was in the house. So I had to clean out the cupboards, I had to clean the wood especially. And um, what is also uh, good with this, it blocks UV uh, rays. I'm, I have a little bit of a, of a piece of paper so I can check what it's all about, the silk um, it all in one mineral paint. So it blocks UV uh, rays, which is the perfect paint for outdoors. It's water resistant, so for my kitchen, even better. Um, it's non-toxic, it has zero VOCs, it's self-leveling, and it, gives you not the chalky finish it gives you this silky finish which is I think a nice finish for a kitchen so I've got my mini ready and um, Christina from Bella Renovare she was very well explained it's a very informative um, uh, video that the mineral the mineral paint the all-in-one mineral paint you should not water it down and uh, you should water it. We don't damp the brush either. So I've got a very dry brush. I've got two minutes with me here and uh, a very dry uh, brush. It shouldn't be damp as we usually do. We damp the brush, but just a dry brush. So, worth it is with my mini brush and off I go and paint my kitchen. first coat I finished my first coat of the paint I did eight cupboards cupboard doors and four drawers and I used about just I can't even see it 
I used about a quarter of a jar of the 16 ounces. The paint goes on really well. It's, um, I would say, a thicker paint than um, the chalk paint of Dixieben or the chalk mineral paint of Dixieben, the usual one. It covers very well. I might have done my coats a little too thin in the beginning. Depending on what you're doing, you could get away with one coat. Um, for a kitchen, I think it's always better to do two and um, cover it up as well as possible. What's important with this paint is also that you do um, long, even strokes, not like I used to do, you know, crisscrossing and creating texture. Uh, so this is a challenge for me here because um, I have to do a smooth finish. But again, it's self-leveling. If you use a synthetic um, bristle brush, it helps, um, how do you say that in English? It helps not to have brush strokes. If you have a natural bristle brush, brush I use that to create texture. But if you have a synthetic bristle brush, <laughs> it helps you to, um, to have a smoother finish and not to have the brush strokes that we might used to have. So for the moment, I'm going to let this dry for an hour. It took me exactly 40 minutes to do all my cupboards here in the kitchen. And um, in an hour, I'm going to do my second coat as soon as the paint is dry. And I'll be back once it's finished. So I finished the painting. I did two coats. It is a dream to put on. It really is a texture that is absolutely lovely to work with. And uh, I surely will use it on furniture pieces as well. I used for eight cupboards and and this side and also on the inside I decided to just give it a quick coat on the inside as well just to clean to make it more clean I used 16 ounces of the wharf I opened this one and this was just a few brush strokes I needed to uh, touch up so eight doors, cupboard doors, plus those four drawers and beneath you've got the trim as well and the inside 16 ounces of silk all-in-one mineral paint and a tiny bit of a new tin. Fantastic paint, really really nice to work with to put it on, to brush it on. And uh, now my kitchen has a new color. I have a small kitchen, yes. And uh, we were a bit worried that maybe wolf, that gray, which is called wolf, might be slightly dark for the kitchen. But once we put the handles back, um, I think it's just a lovely grey and uh, here uh, it is extremely important to let the paint dry. The paint then needs to cure as every other paint or every other chalk and mineral paint. It needs to cure which means it needs to harden for about 20 to 30 days depending on the climate that you have.